Good morning. Thanks for being with us here on First Take. Skip Bayless to my left. Stephen A. Smith joins us from Philly, Chip Kelly's town. I'm Molly Karam. Gentlemen, mm. how are we doing? What's up? What's going on, y'all? How you doing? We're good. We miss you already. <laughs> you seem relaxed and happy. Whoa, don't worry about it. Oh, trust me. I'm here. I'm here in the house. <laughs> I just got one question oh. for my man Skip Bayless this morning. And here's the proverbial handshake over the television screen. Skip Bayless, I got to ask you a question. Did you see that bad man last night? Mm. Woo! Ooh, that's a bad boy. <laughs> you know, I, I've never done this in the history of this show. I'm going to offer you my condolences on the first topic of this show mm. prematurely because you deserve it prematurely because we all know you're about to get scorched in a debate. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. By the way, mm. the suits with the white shirt is looking pretty fly right now. Molly, you always look great. Thank you. Skip. You know, you look good okay. today. You, you can butter me up. You know what's coming, so, but I appreciate that. Somebody's hype today. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I, was, I must confess, I was actually looking for you to return the compliment because I think... Oh, I, you were oh. fishing. It's called fishing for <laughs> compliment. I'm just saying. You know what? I'm just saying. You look stunning. You, know, you, you look fantastic. You look like Thank a cover of GQ. That's yeah. what you look yeah. like. Did you get Thank the goatee shaped Thank up? Thank you so much. It looks yeah, fantastic. Did I mention that? He visited the barber shop. My only regret... My only regret okay. today is I didn't wear the green suit with the yellow in it. I mm. should have rocked that this morning. Okay. I oh, really should have. Yeah. Uh, I get it. Go oh, ahead. green go. day. I'm just saying. Yeah, okay. This is going to be saying. a good Something one, like people. That. All right, let's like work. That. We ready, Mr. Happy? Okay, he's yes, ready. I am. All right, let's do it. Coming up, it was media day in the NBA yesterday. Why is Derrick Rose talking about free agency? We'll fill you in on what he said and what it means. And is this Kobe's final go around? And we will also discuss LeBron as well. But first, to the NFL. Monday Night Football in Lambeau. Green Bay defending their home turf, beating Kansas City by 10. Aaron Rodgers doing what he does. Listen to this. The man has not thrown an interception in his last 16 regular season home games, 486 pass attempts with zero picks. He threw five TDs last night, three to Randall Cobb, one to that rookie Ty Montgomery, and one to the newly reacquired James Jones. I said before the game, if you said he was the best player in the league, it might be an understatement. <laughs> People are like, what are you trying to say? Yeah, what are you trying to say? <laughs> Just go with it, all right? <laughs> I mean, think about it. What if Peyton Manning, what if Peyton Manning, what if Tom Brady could run? What if they could move? What if they could buy time? What if they could go sideline to sideline? You're watching what that would be like. You're seeing Aaron Rodgers with the mastery in the pocket, but then have the movement to go all over the field. Oh, Skip, Monday Night Football action. Is Aaron Rodgers the best quarterback mm -hmm. in the NFL? Wait, is the question, did that prove that yes. last night Yes, did prove? that prove it to you? Yes, okay. Are we really asking this question on the great show that is first take? Because it's so beneath our dignity to ask such an outrageously out of bounds question that last night proved that Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in pro football when last night Aaron Rodgers had his way with a decimated Kansas City Chiefs secondary at home where he is virtually invincible unless my Cowboys play there. And by the way, they will play there again, I think twice this year, but that's a whole nother issue. But we're talking about what Aaron Rodgers did, dinking and dunking against the absolutely decimated Kansas City Chiefs secondary down to Marcus Cooper starting at one of the cornerbacks who probably, God bless the kid. I think he's from Bloomfield, Connecticut, by the mm. way. Great place, Bloomfield. Yeah, but, shout out to Connecticut. But, yeah, Rutgers and all that. But I, I'm not even sure he should have been on the field last night. And Aaron Rodgers victimized him again and again and again. And his, he, he starts off with, with a bombs away pass of eight yar, yards to, to the kid from Stanford, that Ty Montgomery. And then he goes, ch ch check this out, Stephen A. He goes, pick play to Randall Cobb for a three-yard touchdown. Pick play to Randall Cobb for a four-yard touchdown. Pick play to Randall Cobb for another four-yard touchdown. The, the, these are euphemistically called rub routes. They're just little goal line pick plays. They're candy from a baby when you're playing the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh -oh. 
and the, the one bombs away play of 27 yards to James Jones. Jones came on a cheap offsides penalty play where the Chiefs virtually stopped playing and everybody's looking at each other. And it's a free cheap play for Aaron Rodgers to throw it to James Jones, who's basically not covered in the end zone. Easy touchdown. And you're trying to tell me that what he did last night would suddenly usurp the great Tom Brady, who should be insulted. We're even asking this question after the, the, the sensational start that he's had to this NFL season. I'm not sure any quarterbacks ever had a greater start to a season than Tom Brady has had so far. He did it to the Pittsburgh defense, which is showing me a lot this year. He torched the Pittsburgh defense. Remember that on Thursday night football? Tom Brady went to Buffalo with a high degree of difficulty against a Rex Ryan who's been his nemesis. And he goes for 466 yards and three touchdowns in that game. And you're saying Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in pro football? I, I won't even talk about what Tom Brady did to Jacksonville, but he goes 33 of 42 with two more touchdowns. And he has now gone the most attempts through the first three games in NFL history without an interception. The great Tom Brady, who is 21 and 8 in the postseason, and last seen in the postseason, do I remember Aaron Rodgers stinking up the second half at Seattle in ways very few great quarterbacks have ever stunk up a second half as they blew a 16 to nothing lead halfway through the third quarter? Are we talking about that Aaron Rodgers? Meanwhile, that was against the great Seattle Legion of Boom defense, which then went on to the Super Bowl, and in the fourth quarter, got absolutely scorched by Tom Brady, who went 13 for 15 for 124 yards just in the fourth quarter and two touchdowns as he was the Super Bowl MVP. Are you kidding me? Aaron Rodgers is 6-5 and five in the finished? postseason. I'm not finished. Are you finished? You're, you're, it's your question. I I'm going to answer it. Let me finish. That, I'm waiting for me Aaron, to get to Aaron it. Aaron Rodgers ahead. is 6-5 and five in the postseason. And by the way, he's 2-4 and four since he last won that lonely Super Bowl long ago. 2-4, and four, and you're bringing me that a game on Monday night at home against the Chiefs suddenly vaults him into best quarterback status in the NFL? Just stop it. We, Molly, we could go on to the next topic because you don't even deserve to answer this question. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you trying to shut me down yes. and deny me the opportunity yes. to respond to that little, di that, that ridiculous diatribe yeah, you I just threw out there? Yeah. You must be crazy. Let me, let me, it was far from brilliant, okay? Mm. Let me tell you something, Skip Bayless. <laughs> you got to remember something. I know you and your slick self, okay? Mm -hmm. You know what you just did? I noticed how you glossed over stuff. You highlighted what Tom <laughs> Brady did, and you're so about, yeah, I know it was against Jacksonville, but blah, blah, blah. You brought up the decimated secondary of the Kansas City Chiefs. Fair enough. They were a bit decimated. They had three of their top four guys out last night, if I remember correctly. But here's the reality. Despite all of that, their defense is better than the Pittsburgh Steelers and what Tom Brady went against on oh, opening don't night. Don't that. get me started with Jack. Oh, I do. I, I do. Maybe the Steelers' defense is get. Hold oh, on. It's Maybe coming. it's getting better. Yeah. But the Steelers' defense that opened up the season. Oh, don't get me started with that. Aaron Rodgers, okay, he went against Chicago's defense, which even you acknowledged is upgraded, especially with John Fox as the head coach right now. And we'll get into them a little no, bit I later haven't. because obviously they traded two guys. But let me say, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying respectable. I'm not saying they're lights out, but respectable. We know their offense and Jay Cutler, your Vanderbilt native. That's the problem with the Chicago Bears. It has nothing to do with their defense, okay? You got Chicago, then you had Seattle game two, no and camp. then Kansas City no yesterday. Camp at you got no Cam at home. That's fine. That's fine. But Seattle's defense is still nothing to sneeze at without Cam. Cam just elevates it to an extreme, extremely elite level. But they're still better than most even without Cam. And then you got Kansas City yesterday. And then you look at Aaron Rodgers. Excuse me, nearly 500 passes at Green Bay at Lambeau Field still without an interception. Lord knows how many uh, touchdowns the man, has thrown. the man is absolutely phenomenal. Okay. Well, it is phenomenal. Thank you very much for giving me that, okay? So you got a, a Green Bay pass. Packers offense, by the way, making Starks, making Cobb, making, you know, James Joe, everybody look like all pros because he's that dude. And by the way, I have what I consider to be a relatively impenetrable argument, Skip Bayless. And you know what that argument is? I don't have to make one. Steve Young, the great Steve Young, Hall of Famer Steve Young, 
sat up there last night and essentially confirmed it for me with what we played leading into the segment. Trent Dilfer co-signed it. Ray Lewis co-signed it. Chris Carter co-signed it. NFL aficionados all over the place. They talk about I Aaron don't. Rodgers' ability to throw and the I'm ball that matters outside right now. the pocket, inside the pocket. Yeah. Even let me all that's fair. That's fair. I understand. I'm dealing with you. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you that the bottom line is you seem to be in complete and utter denial. We all know that Tom Brady is great. We know that he's fantastic. But when we talk about Aaron Rodgers, Steve Young could not have said it any better when he said, imagine Peyton Manning or Tom Brady being able to run, being able to scramble out of the pocket and do what they do, because that is what Aaron Rodgers does. Peyton Manning and Tom Brady are phenomenal because they're guys who stand in the pocket and can fling that football second to none. We get that, and they're champions as well, which is not to be disrespected. But what Aaron Rodgers does, he does anywhere on the field. He does in the pocket. He does standing still. He does it tap dancing. He does it scrambling to his left to his right, even the cadences, when, you know, with, with the way he's calling plays, drawing dudes offside. Last night, the Kansas City Chiefs stopped the Packers on third down and forced a fourth down and were penalized all three times, primarily due to Aaron Rodgers. He knows how to scare you to death. You don't even hesitate in coming after him because you don't know what he's going to do to you next. You are never as helpless as you are once you're going up against Aaron <coughs> Rodgers in the flow because he is something phenomenal. And I'm going to say it for you mm. to again, just to make you feel good. Say it with me, Skip. He's a bad Preach. man. <laughs> but come playoff time, he's often just bad. Just flat out bad. <laughs> and I, I, have to throw this, I have to throw this in about the great Steve Young. What did he do great? What, what made him great? His legs as well as his arms. So he has a little bias toward right. Aaron because he relates. Oh, and, you know, come, on. Well, come on. Come, come on. on. Seriously. Come on. You know, he show, wants show, to show say Steve he's, Young he's more doing it the way I did it. He did it the way oh, Steve oh, did oh, it the best. Minute, wait, okay? the, 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 wait a minute. The objectivity, the objectivity of Steve Young okay. is something that he puts yeah. on display for 17 weeks a season every single year for us. Come on, Skip Bayless. Okay. You can't sit I, there I just and did. bring in the I question. I said it, and I stand by it. Okay? Now, <laughs> you tell me he does it all over the football field. But you, you can't come back. You have no response to why he doesn't do it consistently when the money's on the line in the playoffs. My Cowboys, my underdog Cowboys should have won that game because it was a catch. We know it was but a catch. They did it. And they should they have. Did it. Okay, but they didn't. But then he goes to Seattle, played a nice half. They're up 16 to nothing in the third quarter. Where was Aaron Rodgers when they needed him most? May Nowhere to be question? found. Boy, he could, could he scramble, could he run, could he get outside? Nope, he didn't do May anything. May I ask you a question, Skip Bayless? Bayless, let me ask you a question. How is it that you recall that it should have been a catch because it was a catch? How is it that you recall Seattle's second half performance, but you don't recall that throughout the entire playoffs last year, Aaron Rodgers was playing on one leg? One leg! What? He was a little limpy. One leg! He was getting How do we around ignore okay. That? Well, well, he's got the greatest what? arm in history. That's what, what you tell me. The quickest release and the strongest arm. Hey, so he should be I, better I, than I, that. I stand by that. Okay. I, sta I, I stand Tom Brady by that. Wasn't running I stand around by that. But it doesn't so look what he the did to the Legion of Boom. He boomed you're, him. He, he you're, knocked you're him out of the park. You still need your legs and, to and throw the by football. The way, remember, huh. Aaron Rodgers is six and five in the playoffs. Think about this. Four of the six came on his Super Bowl roll that one year. And remember, he, he has to go on the road as the wild card team. And he beats Michael Vick in Philadelphia. Nah. He beats Matt Ryan. No Julio Jones yet there. Matt Ryan really struggling as a young quarterback. Nah, I don't know about that. I love then he how beats you say this. Jay Cutler. Wait a second. He beats your Jay Cutler in Chicago. So Jay Cutler couldn't go in the second half. And you're the one who said, he's overriding his bicycle in the second half. It's Caleb Haney in the second half. And go look at the numbers. Aaron Rodgers stunk up that second and half and almost lost a chance to go to the Super Bowl to Caleb Haney. Then in the Super Bowl, Troy Polamalu, remember this? He couldn't run. He had a pulled hamstring, shouldn't even try to play. So Aaron Rodgers oh. victimized Can Ryan Clark in the secondary. Okay? I have a response. I have a response. You know what, Skip Bayless? I recall 
Tom Brady, every time he goes up against an elite defense, because Denver certainly was no elite defense, okay? But every time he's going up, the Colts certainly it was no elite defense. But every time he's going up against an elite defense, a la the Baltimore Ravens in Ray Lewis's last year, he got his butt kicked. When he went to the Giants in he the Super the Bowl twice, and they got mm -hmm. and they got after him, okay. he neutralized them, okay? Yeah, when I look at Aaron Rodgers, four we rings. All, 21 we and 8 with four we, rings. What, Case closed. I, 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 I'm sorry. You got to speak. I don't get to say something. I don't get to what you're scared. You're scared we, of We don't sports. like what you're, you're saying. Let me want you to listen. Why don't yeah. you listen? Well, just because you don't like it doesn't mean that you get to interrupt me. Zip it when I'm talking to you. <laughs> Here's the deal. When Aaron Rodgers yeah. goes up against elite defenses, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm sorry, Tom Brady goes up yeah. against elite defenses, okay. he has tend to not show up. Now, he did win the Super Bowl last uh, year I'd against say. Seattle. But, again, you want to bring up stuff. I saw Cam Chancellor hurt. I saw Richard Sherman hurt. I saw Earl Thomas hurt. But you don't want you want to bypass that. You want to ignore the fact that he got beat ever. up by the Baltimore Ravens okay. when they were healthy and they were elite. You want to ignore and attribute it to luck as to why the New York Giants beat them twice in the Super Bowl. It was, it was when the you sat up there in Super Bowl Brady, history. Did, did Tom Brady, hold on, did right. Tom Brady Stop not it. laugh? Not right. last at it. the thought of him being held to yeah. just 17 points, and he was held to 14 points. Yeah. But you ignore that. But you want to bring up I everything about Aaron Rodgers, whose defense has always been suspect in Green Bay. He's a bad boy. Somewhere along the lines, you're going to learn to accept this reality eventually. I'm going to Aaron Rodgers. Unzip it and how, say somewhere. Tom Brady. That's, That's what, what I'm going to say. say. Yes. All right, guys. This is fun. No, no. But we, we, we have to move on. So there is an obvious divide here. Stephen A. thinks that bad man is the best in the league. While, of course, Skip's not riding with it. What do you think? Let us know on Twitter if you think Rodgers is the best quarterback in the NFL by replying yes or no to the hashtag best NFL passer. Speaking of Tom Brady and the Patriots, 